Welcome to Designing Spaces Think Green, the show that's all about you, your living space, and living a more eco-friendly lifestyle. I'm David Jones. Now, all of us are becoming increasingly aware of how we affect our environment, our demand for the energy that powers our civilization, the air we breathe, the water so necessary for life, and the energy required to power our civilization must now be integrated into living a green lifestyle. A healthier environment means healthier lives for all of us. Designing Spaces believes it's time we take care of our home, the ultimate living space, planet Earth. Even on Think Green, we do kitchen makeovers. And new cabinets can completely change the kitchen's look and character. But is it eco-friendly? Well, the answer is yes. To take a look at wood as a green product, here's Debbie Marie. Remodeling a home is not only an opportunity to increase its value, it's also an opportunity to convert our home to a greener one, one that is eco-friendly. One of the most versatile materials used in our homes is wood, and it's also one of the greenest. So why is wood such a good choice? Think Green went to one of the experts. The kitchen is getting a facelift, and the cabinets are getting redone to create a new warm look that lends a lot of character to the room, and it's eco-friendly. To talk to us today about the green movement in using wood in our remodeling and also your home remodels is Ralph Fair. He is the president of Elias Woodwork and Manufacturing. Ralph, welcome to Think Green. Good to be here. Okay, now I've heard of Elias Woodwork and Manufacturing being an advocate for everything green. But when you're talking about using wood in your remodeling, that involves chopping down trees. That doesn't sound very green to me, so explain that. Yes, we have to chop down trees, but it really is the only ecologically responsible thing we can do. Of course, this means that the trees have to be replaced uh, when you chop them down because you have to continue the carbon absorption and the oxygen production. The software lumber industry has a big black eye on this front because of their poor forestry management and clear cutting and that kind of thing, but mm -hmm. I think they've learned their lesson by now. And the hardwood industry really hasn't ever been in that, that situation. They've uh, always been an advocate of cutting down only, you know, the choice tree right. and, and removing what's needed and leaving the rest behind. Um, it's really very different. And in the last 50 years, the volume of available hardwoods in North America, both Canada and the U.S., uh, is almost double what it was 50 years ago. So when we talk about the North American hardwood, what makes it so unique? Why is it part of the green movement? If you take a cabinet door or a dining room table, uh, there's absolutely nothing, not steel, not um, iron, not plastic, not laminate or anything that you can do uh, that is more ecologically friendly than, to making, than making it out of solid hardwood. So when we use hardwood products like the ones being used here in this kitchen, it's actually a green move on the part of the homeowner. So what other applications can we use in the home with North American hardwood? Well, it would be passage doors and framing and uh, trim moldings. Oh, I never uh, thought of the trim. Mm. Entertainment units and furniture in general, just like it's always been. So obviously not everything is wood. So what other materials can we use to keep with the green movement when we're upgrading or renovating our home? Well, like ceramic tile, uh, hardwood floors, and that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, anytime that you have something imitating the real thing, as in uh, vinyl floors imitating ceramic or laminate imitating a hardwood, hardwood. Uh, I don't see that as being as green because when you inspect it, you find that uh, those are produced to pretty high cost to the environment usually. To give our viewers an idea, let's go ahead and take a tour of this kitchen because they're using the North American hardwood to remodel their cabinet. Yeah, this particular homeowner uh, elected to have a white kitchen. She, she wanted a white kitchen even though, um, you know, the cupboard, you know, used to have a color to it, as you can see. So this is all the same wood. This is all North American hardwood. This is a North American just... white maple painted white. 
um, ah, like as opposed that. to thermal foil or uh, laminate, as is so often the case when they're when they're doing solid colors these days. And many of us might think this is the color it would come because you think maple wood, you know. So it's nice that it can match any decor in our kitchen. Yeah, we're applying new cabinet doors and putting uh, pre-finished uh, veneers and uh, thin ply on the face frames, and uh, they'll eventually put on a new countertop to. Uh, finish the job off. So how are they eco-friendly? A small company uh, has a really hard time being really eco-friendly building this stuff. Uh, it's much better done in a large factory where uh, you can control a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, many jobs today are finished on site. They would apply these things and, and do the painting in the house. So you have no possibility of catching over, over spray and reusing the product or uh, using up the uh, the leftover solvents that you would use for paint application equipment mm -hmm. and leftover stains and paints and distilling them for reuse, which you can do in a factory. At Elias Woodwork, we've spent 28 years building a brand on these eco-friendly principles. Um, we, we, you know, we recapture our, our oversprays and, and distill leftover paints and so on to reuse them. Because everything's done at your factory, like at, you done said, at the and factory, not here. And location. only the installation happens here. Are there any sacrifices that we need to make to use green products in our home? I don't really think so. I can't remember being presented a choice where I couldn't choose the more environmentally friendly option and still accommodate my taste uh, for what's attractive and what I think is functional. Uh, it may cost a, a wee little bit more sometimes, right. but that's the sacrifice most people are willing to make when they see the real numbers. Is there any place that we can learn about Elias Woodwork? Yeah, you can visit EliasWoodwork.com to see what we do there, uh, or visit uh, a website put on by uh, Weyerhaeuser, uh, a lumber supplier, uh, called ObeyMotherNature.com. Hmm, okay, that sounds good, and we can learn a lot of information there as well. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, Ralph, thank you so much for being here today and showing us how we can remodel and upgrade our homes in a very green way. We appreciate it's it. It's a pleasure. Well, to learn more about Elias Woodwork, you can visit our website at designingspaces.tv and click on Think Green. For Designing Spaces Think Green, I'm Debbie Marie. So what do we want to leave behind for future generations? All of us have the power and ability to make a difference. Together, let's make the right decision and move towards a healthier world. For Designing Spaces, Think Green, I'm David Jones. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.